everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC. Welcome to Shop Talk. As always, I am sitting right next to my best friend, Bobby. That makes me sitting right next to my best friend, Keithy. Oh, don't do that. My mother used to call me that. Yeah, I hate to call me Bobby, too. She called, really? Yeah. Mothers are, there's a problem with mothers. Yeah. I mean, she did that to all my brothers. Yeah. And she did it to my daughter, who hates, don't say it, because she will come through that camera okay. and get you. All yeah. right. So anyway, Bob. Anyway, yeah. what, what we're going to talk about? Um, yeah, sound like a man. It was really quick. Uh, what are we talking about today? Well, you're uh, you've been working on a uh, some software development. Yeah, and and you you did a little speeds and feet calculator mm -hmm. because that's one of the things a lot of people trip over. In sure. fact, I was redoing a project that I've been working on using Vetric. And uh, I'm, I'm editing the tools in the, in the uh, I can't think of the word. The tool library? Well, not that, no, I don't want to get into the tool library because I've screwed that up once and I had to reload everything again. Oh, my. That wasn't fun. But rather, you know, just the settings okay. for, you know, speed and feed and whatever. And I noticed I had my stuff really slow. Yeah. Like I had my Z descending like at about, oh, 10, uh, you know, okay. and my and my my feed set at all oh, about 65. You're burning up some bits. Well, I could have been, but I don't want to admit that I don't know oh, what I'm yeah. doing. All right, yeah. Everybody. So thanks for making me look at that, Bob. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Well, anyway, you've created a speeds and feed calculator, and it, this isn't something you're going to get a Nobel Prize for. They're, what? <laughs> Well, that you should do it. Maybe they are giving you know, well, Absolutely. I mean, they would give me. It one. was my first C sharp project. I had to. Yeah, I'm C -sharp, C -sharp, or C -sharp, other, sharp chart. No, it's just C sharp. Just C -sharp? one chart. What's yeah. the difference between sharp and well, chart? Well, there's chart. C and C plus and oh. C sharp. And yeah, yeah. I'm not a programmer. Ask a programmer. Okay. I, I doubt anybody cares. Well, one of these programmers. So, what is it that we have to be concerned about with speeds and feeds with wood? Actually, with it doesn't matter what material it is, but with wood and plastics, which is what our machines are designed to cut, um, the first thing that you need to understand about speeds and feeds is it's really a pretty simple calculation. You can go out there and you can just learn the calculations and you can just start figuring it out for yourself. However, I don't do that. I know. <laughs> when, when I say that, you have to remember that these things are basically built for professional, industrial machine shops not even cutting wood and plastic. So they're gonna be a little aggressive. So you know, you can uh, take away the SFMs or the, you know, the surface speed that you're cutting at, and you can make some adjustments. But in the bottom line is, is it's always gonna be a rule of thumb unless you get into some of the details. So I can say that, yeah, with this bit, this size, you should cut it about 80 inches per minute. But it depends on whether you're slot cutting, like driving through the whole wood, making a step over cut, um, what type of bit, you know, whether you're using an up cut, down kit, cut, V bit. So again, you know, without all of those other parameters in there. Okay, but now, okay. wonderful parameters, Rob, Bob, Bob. Wonderful parameters. And I forgot who you were for a second. Okay. When you talk about slot cutting, I understand what you mean. Why, why would you do that with an Evolution Series router? Well, I mean, if you're, let's just say, cutting out a uh, shape, Let's say you're cutting out a, uh, a heart for Valentine's Day, right. right? So you're basically cutting out the shape of the heart. That's a slot cut, right? Because you're not doing a pocket cut. You're just going to have, at the end, you're going to have a cutout shape that's a heart. Okay, so, so on that that is going to call it a profile. Okay, a profile cut vector. But it's called slot cutting. Okay. Right. Whereas if you're doing a pocket cut where you're taking out the inside or doing 3D contour, now the first line that you go through there is going to be a slot cut. But after that, you're doing a step over cut. Going okay. back and forth, right. right? Yes. So, you know, I mean, even different bit manufacturers will have different speeds and feeds because the rake angle on their bit is different for the what do you helix mean? angle. The, the what? Well, there's a helix oh, angle, yes. a helix rake angle, Sorry, angle there's the size, the shape, the just different okay. geometry, different hardness meant for cutting different materials. So, therefore, you can never find a speeds and feeds calculator that you could just type in your stuff and go, boop. Even if you bought a bit from a certain manufacturer and used their speeds and feeds that they said, you would still need to make adjustments because they are doing it on a certain material 
and yours may be different. So okay. it, it's just, again, just a rule of thumb. So just remember that when you open up the Bob's Speeds and Feeds, try to give you enough documentation there. But if it seems a little high, you know, uh, try it out, but get ready to push the uh, overrides to slow it down a little bit. Seems a little slow, try it out, you know, push the little increase, you know, if it seems a little slow when you're cutting. And uh, the bottom line is, is you, you get a feel for it with some experience about uh, where you're at, but it's going to get you close for our machines. Now, one of the ways that this has a practical application is your machining time. I did a project just recently with my former speeds and feeds, and it, uh, it, it took about close to 20 hours of machine time. Holy cow. Well, on a small machine, you know, yeah. a hobby machine, that's, that's more than acceptable because you don't have this great big honking thing with a great big spindle. And, right. But in any case, uh, when I adjusted my speeds and feeds, made them more aggressive, what I thought was aggressive, right. but I followed the settings on the calculator that you made, mm -hmm. I cut my machine time down Ooh, about seven hours, right? And I got really good results. Yeah. But I also did uh, open up U UGS to make sure the little override tab, right? To absolutely. make sure that was available. So yeah. because it was a little scary at first. Yeah, absolutely. And you know the the thing that we see the most for people that are brand new to CNC is is they have the spindles speed wide open. Right. And they're cutting really, really slow. So notice on the speeds and feet calculator, there's a little um, number. It yeah. just gives you the <laughs> number on the Is that what it's called? It's, it's a yeah. number. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it'll correspond to the dial on your Makita router. Yeah. So just turn it up or down as you need. Yeah. So, uh, for instance, if you're one of those people that are cutting aluminum or trying to, uh, we have a whole video on that, so I won't get into it. Right. But you're going to want your uh, spindle speed all the way down to one. Right on the router, really slow. Slow. Go, which right. is, is 10,000 RPMs, which is still way too fast for cutting aluminum. Yeah, right with the uh, welding. feed rate. Yeah, if you don't get that feed rate going fast enough, you definitely will be. But again, we did another complete video of that. So the bottom line is, just remember, it's a rule of thumb. Give it a shot. Get your uh, overrides ready to go. Yep. If it's a little scary for you. Yep. Um, and and I always tell this to customers when they call. Do not put your antique piece of walnut that you got from your mom's, mom's, cousin's, sister in there for your first project. You're going to want to save that uh, piece of wood that's uh, valuable to you until you get the hang of this, right? So right. get you some pine or some scrap wood and, uh, and learn your speeds and feeds there. Okay. Well, guys, if you have any questions about speeds and feeds or bets or anything with CNC, you can get a hold of us at the help desk at bobcnc.com. Yeah, thanks for watching. You betcha. See ya.